I don't believe that there can be any stable coin, which is really a stable coin, which is, in other words, able to maintain stability to a peg, where you don't have full redeemability. And this has been tried a million times in a million different ways. But every single time you lose the ability to have redeemability, you lose the peg eventually. And this isn't true in crypto, but it's even more true in the hundreds of years of experience that we have with the financial world. So sovereign dollar and the zero protocol are based not just on instant redeemability, but they're also instant is maybe a misleading word, but on demand uh, redeemability. But they're also able to preserve that on demand redeemability, utilizing over collateralization and having an improved liquidation process through the stability pool when it comes to zero and when it comes to the sovereign dollar and the sovereign mint the ability to have multiple different mechanisms both for the creation of these type of over collateralized stable coins and multiple different methodologies of redemption which makes the system even more robust so we have proof points of this um, liquidity has managed to maintain through multiple different crashes as well as MakerDAO, as well as uh, money on chain have all managed to maintain because they are redeemable and over collateralized their peg even in the worst crashes of you know may 21st 2020 2021 and now and i expect that the sovereign dollar will be even more robust than them for two reasons first of all the fact that you have multiple methods of redemption and creation and second because the underlying collateral is bitcoin which is superior to all of the other forms of underlying collateral so i think we can be extremely confident that what we have what we'll be releasing will be on par with anything else out there and probably superior.